hi guys welcome to my channel i just want to give a quick hello to all of my new subscribers i see you all showing me love in the comments liking my videos so thank you very much for your support and welcome i can't wait for you to see what's in store for you in the future today i'm gonna make some home style mashed potatoes i feel like every recipe doesn't have to be um complex i want to show you all how to do the basics of things sometimes so we're gonna build from the foundation and you know work away from the ground up as you can see i peeled some of the potatoes and the other ones i left with the skin on excuse me y'all my neighbor is over here drilling something so um pardon the noise anyway I did that because I wanted some slight skin texture in there, but not fully. And it's also a lazy hack too, <laughs> um, if you don't wanna peel all your potatoes. So, oh, big disclaimer, when boiling potatoes, you wanna start off with cold water. I used to start off with hot, thinking it'll help cook faster, help boil faster, but really that just leads to uneven cooking. So start off with cold water and let everything rise to the temperature together. Throw a little salt in there. And since I'm making garlic mashed potatoes, I am gonna add crushed garlic. So once you take it out the um, shell, make sure you use that knife and crush it down to release those aromas and then throw them right into the pot. So here I'm just showing you options that you have. Um, you can use sour cream, flavored cream cheese or regular cream cheese. Of course, we need butter. The only two seasonings I'm using is salt and pepper. And then if you want a plant-based milk for creaminess, I recommend that one, 1,000%. These are fully done. Now I turn my heat on high. The heat is still on y'all. And I'm smashing and mashing, bashing, whatever you want to call it. I'm mashing these potatoes with the high heat to remove all of that moisture. I'm gonna at least do that for a minute, a minute and a half. Once it's all mashed up and it's dry, you can actually physically see that it's super dry, turn the heat off and then start adding in whatever um, ingredient that you want. So out of all the ingredients that I just showed you, I'm using everything besides the chive and onion cream cheese because I just didn't really want that flavor profile today for this recipe. So I'm gonna start off with putting my seasonings in first because I feel like it's easier to incorporate while it's all nice and dry like this. Then I'm putting in my ingredient that needs to be melted, hence my butter, because it's still piping hot. So seasonings, butter, and then go ahead and add your cold ingredients. As a disclaimer, I'm gonna start trying to measure my seasonings out for you all like in the tablespoon teaspoon whatever just so you all can rely on me a bit more when it comes to accuracy because maybe i can just go ahead and put any ingredients that i want here and i'll just go from the visual of it and the texture and i will be a-okay but understand that a lot of you might be beginners so i'm gonna go ahead and be more strict on myself and get that together for you all so as I said, add in your cold ingredients and mix away. And then after you mix it up, then you can go ahead and taste it and see what to add in there more. If you like your mashed potatoes on the thicker side like this, then I would just stop at this point and serve it up. If you like it more on the thinner side, then go ahead and add some more milk. Like how I did. And just keep on mixing a little bit at a time until you get to the consistency that you like. Super easy, you all. Super, super easy. You know what? If you all want to see an instant potato recipe too, I don't really agree with that. But hey, if you have to do it sometimes, I'm not judging you. I can make some instant potatoes look and taste really real. Okay. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. I'm going to start posting more getting into the kitchen and getting into the habit of recording what I do. So um, the more love and the more support that I'm seeing, the more inspired I get to give you all more content. So thanks again. Welcome to my channel and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.